Hello everyone, it's Dale here from the webpage trader-dale.com and in today's video I'd like to show you how to build a cryptocurrency portfolio. So if you like the cryptocurrencies and if you would like to invest in them, I don't really think that simply buy a cryptocurrencies and wait until the price rise is a very smart decision to do. So in today's video, I will show you how to build a portfolio, how to find the best price levels to enter your positions, and also how to manage your position from the money management point of view. So first of all, uh, you will need to decide in which cryptocurrencies you will invest. And I suggest you go to a webpage which is called coinmarketcap.com. And as you can see, it shows cryptocurrency market capitalizations. So I suggest that you look at the first, let's say, three places and there you will see the three biggest cryptocurrencies there are as far as market capitalization goes. So the first one, obviously Bitcoin, second one is Ethereum, the third one is Ripple. In this example, I will start with those three and I would uh, build a portfolio out of those three cryptocurrencies. So this is the first step to choose in which cryptocurrencies you would like to invest. I strongly advise you to go for the ones that are most liquid, that have the biggest market capitalization. My advice to go for the three biggest or for uh, the biggest ones is because those are probably to last and nothing funny will happen to them. And also they will have tighter spreads and... Uh, they won't have such a slippage because uh, they have uh, bigger liquidity than the rest. And basically, it's a general rule that the instruments that are most liquid are the best ones to trade. So, as I said, in this case, I will build a portfolio of those three. And let's now have a look at uh, how to build a portfolio. So before you, you can see a Bitcoin chart. It's a daily chart, it's a daily canvas, and this is volume profile, which uh, basically shows the volumes in this area I have selected. The reason I have selected this area is because of this strong uptrend. So as you can see, I've selected the area where the strong uptrend was. And now I will use my standard trading setups that I use every day for my intraday trading to analyze Bitcoin and to show you where are the strongest places to enter your positions in case you want to build up a portfolio. So basically building up a portfolio is buy and hold. So you don't use any leverage, you just buy and hold. That's basically uh, very similar to building up a portfolio, for example, of stocks or anything else. So as I said, we will need to determine the places where we want to enter our positions. So in this case, I'll be looking for strong volume clusters within this strong buying activity. So as you can see, there is one significant volume cluster, another one, there's another one, and another is right there. So at places like this, strong buyers were adding to their buying positions and pushing the price upwards at those volume clusters. Those volumes are the buying volumes of the strong buyers. So in case like this, I place buying orders at the highest peak of the volume clusters. So in this case, it will be right there. You can see that there was a very strong reaction to this area. But those volumes, this volume cluster is already tested, so I won't be trading this one. Another one is right there, a little bit below. also tested. So what we now have is this area 8200 pretty strong volume cluster right there pretty heavy volumes got accumulated in this area which means that strong buyers were adding to their positions there. So if you would like to add Bitcoin to your portfolio your first entry could be right there at 8200 to go long from there. This is a very strong level to go long from. And another very strong area is this volume area right there. 
you can see that those volumes got accumulated at this rejection of lower prices right before the start of this crazy strong buying activity. So those volumes are definitely volumes of strong buyers who will be defending their positions if the price comes back to this area and will push the price upwards again. So this is very strong level to go long from 6700. So if you want to add Bitcoin to your portfolio, I suggest you enter the second position right there and go long from this area. So now we have two strong levels to go long from to add to your buying positions on the Bitcoin. First is this one, second is this one. Now I suggest we have a look at the Ethereum, which is the second biggest cryptocurrency. And let's find another levels to go long from on the Ethereum. Alright, so this is Ethereum and let's say that we want to enter two long positions there to build up our portfolio. So we will do basically the same thing as on the Bitcoin. So the first thing to notice is this strong buying activity, this strong uptrend. So for this reason, I used the volume profile for this area, for the area of the uptrend. And within this area, I'll be looking for strong volume clusters to go long from. So the first volume cluster is right there. Pretty massive volumes got accumulated in this area. So I think that strong buyers were adding their buying positions there. And when they accumulated their positions there, they pushed the price upwards pretty aggressively. So when the price comes back to this area, the highest peak of this area is at 690. I think that those strong buyers will be defending their buying positions and they'll push the price upwards from this area. The second strong volume area, definitely this one. You can see the sideways price section which took place right there. And after this price channel broke, there was strong buying activity there. And afterwards right there. This indicates also that strong buyers were adding to their buying positions in this sideways price section. You can see the volumes right there. Very massive volumes. So for that reason, the second long level will be right there at 460. I think that the best idea is to enter the first half of the position right there and second half of the position right there, long from the, this area. So now we have two long positions on the Bitcoin, two long positions on Ethereum. And if you remember, the third one, the third biggest one was Ripple. So let's now have a look at the Ripple. So this is chart of Ripple and as you can see there is also strong buying activity right there and for this reason I used the volume profile for this area for the volume accumulation before the start of the buying activity right there and for the strong buying activity. So this is basically the area I'm interested in as far as the volumes are concerned and again because of the strong uptrend I'll be looking for strong volume clusters where strong buyers were adding to their buying positions or building up their buying positions. So very strong volume cluster is right there. Those volumes got accumulated in this sideways price section. And I think that if the price is to come to this area, there will be a huge reaction because those buyers will be defending their buying positions from this area and they'll be pushing the price upwards. So the first level, to go long from, uh, for example, uh, for with uh, the first half of your position would be at this price level at 0.72. And the second long level will be based on those massive volumes that got accumulated in this sideways price section. You can see that there was an accumulation of massive volumes in this sideways price section. The volumes were really heavy there. And after that, you can see that there was this very strong uptrend. So I think that strong buyers, institutional traders, were adding their buying positions there and afterwards they started the trend from this area. So this is definitely a very strong level to go long from. It is at 0.22. So if the price comes back 
to this area, to this price level, those strong buyers will be defending their positions. They will be pushing the price upwards aggressively. So 0.22 could be another long level to enter your second half of the long position. All right, so now we have two long levels on the Bitcoin, two long levels on Ethereum, and two long levels on Ripple, which is six long levels on the three cryptocurrency pairs. So if you, for example, want to invest $6,000 in this uh, cryptocurrency portfolio, I suggest that for each trade, for each level I showed you, you use $1,000. Because we have six levels and on each level you want to risk the same amount. So to have sort of diversification, at least uh, throughout the cryptocurrency market, you basically split the positions as I showed you. And that's the trick. That's all you need to do. I think that the hardest thing about all this is to wait for all those levels to get hit. The reason is that people got greedy and impatient and they are not really able to wait. It could be days, weeks, months, but it's a very effective way. And it's much better than to just buy, wait and pray for the cryptocurrency to go up again. It's much better and much more profitable to time properly your entry levels. And for that you can use the strategies I use in my trading course, which are based on the volume profile. Because the volume profile is a very versatile tool, as you can see, you can do daily analysis with it, you can do intraday analysis with it, you can do swing trades, we can also do invest, as I showed you today. So it's very versatile. And I really think that it's the best tool for you to find the best and the strongest support and resistance zones. Alright guys, so that's for the video for today. If you like the volume analysis and trading with a volume profile, you can go and visit my webpage, which is trader There is a lot of articles, a lot of videos, a lot of trading setups with the volume profile you can use in your everyday trading. So I'll be glad if you visit my webpage or if you shoot me an email and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in some next video. And until then, I wish you happy trading.